Oh, well, they might get friends of you too. So sorry that uh, I've not been doing a lot of videos, guys. I've just had a lot to do with uh, the wife, you know, being pregnant and stuff. I think I told you on that on the last video. But uh, on this video, I've got uh, three things to show you. Um, of course, I'm not doing the uh, high voltage line out, high voltage line outside at the moment because uh, every time it's a nice day, I've got something to do, and every time it's a crappy day, this is how it turns out. You know, this is how it. Uh, lands no time it's a crappy day I've got nothing to do so <laughs> I need to get this thing outside but anyway honestly I promise you I'll, I'll do it very very soon but uh, anyway guys I wanted to uh, just show you um, an SCR running a motor but through two um, power inputs I'll show you that I've got um, my Jacob's ladder on the uh, rather large um, three phase uh, 11 kV but uh, I've got uh, capacitors uh, a capacitor on the input to show you the difference between the capacitor on it and off uh, and of course I've got another potential transformer to show you guys which uh, I've had and some nice standoffs and I've got to show you there's something else oh yeah some bit of lightning on a nice piece of glass that I got out of a photocopier. Got some glass, might as well do something with it and share it with you guys. So there we go. So first let me show you the potential transformer I've got. I should have actually wired it up and showed it you actually, but there you go guys, look at that. 20 kV, 20 kV, 8.4, 8.4. Now these of course are 8.4 as well because it's two transformers, two secondary coils in one and yeah two secondary coils in one so one's at 8.4 and 20 kV and 8.4 and 20 kV 8.4 8.4 now of course if I was to um, series the outputs of this I would get 80 kV because these are only 100 volts input of course you have to balance them because you will damage the windings so um, if I was to ballast it say 4,000 watts and connect those two together just there and connect a nice wire to there and you would very easily get a very large arcs I would probably say easily a four foot arc off that thing because they are evil but uh, yeah looks pretty cool doesn't it on there very nice indeed so let's get on with the video there's me uh, Jacobs that I've been messing about with because I've got a capacitor just there on the input, it's only just pushed on for now because I'm, I've been trying different stuff. This, there's the glass that I'm going to show you running. A nice piece of glass there to show you. I've had to shield this bit of area because whenever I was starting it, the uh, the corona off this thing I was messing about with this display and it was going. <laughs> <laughs> That's the voltage to my batteries. So. <clears throat> It was uh, quite some time ago, somebody was asking me how you wire up SCRs and uh, so I just thought to show you a different demonstration. So I've got a nice SCR just here, quite high amperage, I think it's 60 amp I think that thing is. Uh, it's about 1200 volts. And I've uh, got a nice um, motor just there, nice DC server motor. And uh, this is a frequency, pulse width frequency. You can change the frequency you can just hear that and uh, it's connected to this power supply which is about 16 volts output that I've turned it up to so here's the power from the batteries okay negatives to the negatives on the input because this is a separate 12 volts input for a little power supply just down there a little DC power supply so put the negatives together this is your, ne uh, your positive coming from that little power supply goes into the pulse width negative out because the that's basically connected straight to that it's um this part is is what uh, it's the negative out which is um pulse width you know the frequency and that goes to the gate of the scr and then this is the negative at the base and the top end here which is the negative out goes to the back to the motor and the power positive goes to the larger power supply so as you can see if I take this off which is the negative out from this we'll start the motor well, 
that is so cool. <clears throat> I love DC motors going through uh, frequency drivers, they're fantastic. But um, with this way of how you can do, how you can use an SCR, is if you wanted to say put 50 volts through that into that motor, it's got no real connection to this because this is basically only driving the gate side of the SCR. And you, of course, you put a frequency through the SCR, and it's going to get, th it's going to go through the diode, as you can see. That is so cool. I've been messing about with that for bloody hours. I've been trying all different kinds of SCRs. Look at these big boys, big boys. Awesome. I've got two of these now. I forgot to tell you about that. Went back to the scrapyard and found another one. In fact, actually, let me show you something that I got, which I. This is the new scrapyard I've gone to. These are uh, 246 IGBTs in one. Now if you want to look up for the specs of these things on the on Google, if my phone will focus in. There you go. That's the spec of them guys. Come on you daft phone. Sorry guys. There you go. Have a look and see. These cost me two pound a piece. I shit you not. He just charged me for the weight, and I've got nine of them, and they all work. <laughs> yeah, I know. <clears throat> There's another one there which I've been trying. I was working it out, and uh, it runs that transformer no problem. Absolutely no problems whatsoever. So then. Let me, uh, I think I'm going to be a bit close for this with the phone actually, I don't know. That might be a, a yeah or a nay, yeah. Let me show you that on that glass. Let's turn this off. Let's see if I unplug that. <laughs> Crazy. Let's turn the lights down. My awesome 100 watt LED. <clears throat> This is going to be mental. Chicken Oriental. <laughs> What's this? Whee! <laughs> I killed a MOSFET. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad that that was on uh, video. That was awesome. Did you see the flames? Oh no. I should have used an IGBT showing. I think I'll have to wire this up again and show you an IGBT running because that would be so cool. Can you imagine me neither? I was just running that a minute ago and it was fine. I only turned it up to 900 volts. <laughs> No, I turned it up to about 45 volts, I think. I just didn't think it liked the uh, the sheer power of the current drawer, I think, because I think they're only 47, 48 amps, I think. And that does draw a lot of amps, a lot of current. Well, at least it looked good for a minute. <laughs> Can't believe that that was on video. <clears throat> we get some funny, com uh, funny uh, comments on that one. I think what I'm going to have to do with this guys is I'll have to do this another time because it's a bit close and with me standing right back here um, I'd prefer it to be say where that cardboard box is and then turn it up from there in fact I think I might just see if I can pause the video and do that for you one sec alright here we go I've moved it back a bit it's a bit more safe now I've had to uh, lift the wires up with those standoffs just to, just to stop the actual wires from the transformer coming out and touching or being near anything that transformer's a bit out of the way from it, so we're pretty alright with that one. So here we go. This is with a capacitor on.
Right, <clears throat> let me show you what it's like now without the capacitor. Right guys, now this is without the capacitor. Completely different. See, now I need more voltage. Before I was putting about 120 volts into it and it wasn't doing any anything to it really at all. You know, uh, sorry, I was putting 120 volts into it and it was doing a bit of power um, power faction correction, uh, power correction faction, I can't remember how you say it now. Uh, power faction correction. I think it's that, I can't remember. But uh, yeah, it was actually making the input a lot more smoother and more of a a phase if you know what I mean it was like keeping the voltage in phase where without the capacitor I'm having to put more voltage into it how crazy is that here we go again right up to about 220 See, at the end of the day, it depends on what capacitor I'd be actually using for the power faction. <clears throat> now, this one is only, f this one's 500 volts at uh, 68 UF microfarads. So, basically, you could try all different types of, types of transformer, uh, capacitors on the input. I'm still new to this power faction correction or whatever it's called and um, I've been doing a little bit of reading up about it and hopefully I can get a nice smooth input for that transformer to give me more of an output. The arcs were bigger but the voltage was lower but it was arcing over if you know what I mean. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Hope, yourself, uh, hope you're all safe, looking after yourselves, whatever you're doing. Be careful in your projects guys and uh, thanks for watching.